Hey! Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Cats. You didn't give me a chance to say that that time. What? You're right. <laughs> yeah, you did. You stepped on the last part of my word. Well, excuse me. Is this cooking with John or is it cooking with Cass? Ain't no telling nowadays. Yeah, ain't no telling. Just remember, I just sharpened my knives, pal. Oh, that's right. And as you may notice, as uh, did you throw up the title yet? Yes, I did, sir. Cedar Supper. That's what we're calling today's. Uh, what what would we, what would we call this? Uh, oh. Endeavor. Thanks a lot, Bob. <laughs> No, today's Endeavor, and we named it in honor of uh, the brave man of the Middle East, Muammar Gaddafi, who says, hey, I'll get you if you try it again. <laughs> Say, hey, we already done it, pal. <laughs> but anyways, we're uh, kind of following the anti-terrorist theme today. Won't find anything on the left. And what we're making is chicken sausage in honor of terrorists. Because you know what kind of bull goes into sausage, and especially when it's chicken. And so we might as well get started here. And oh, I hope everybody out there catches my uh, little bits on idle chatter this week. And idle chatter just happens to be on the floor. <laughs> Hang on a second, let me grab the. Uh... Hey, what can I say? Cue you know? card time. Yeah, cue cards. Where's my cue cards? Like Eric Estrada, he always had to have cue cards. He never, he didn't want to memorize his lines. No matter what show he did, he always said that he had to have cue cards. Like, come on, how smart is this guy? And so you'll find idle chatter on Mondays at 6.30, Tuesdays at 9 o'clock, and Thursdays at 7.30. Hey, Thursdays is right before my show, right? Yeah, follow up. Ah, oh, see, look at this. What the perf... Get that fly. <laughs> get him next time around, Ken. Yeah, I'll have to get him when he comes over here. But tune into it. We got some really interesting things going. I gave a few pointers on sharpening knives. And we also have... This week's <laughs> premier uh, grocery store newspaper. I'll tell you, there's some good ones on the cover of this one. We have Baby Born 38 Days After Mom's Death. This is the best one, though, right here. Drunken Mortician, Cremate Sleeping Janitor by Mistake. <laughs> Watch out, Anita. Don't doze on the job. You never know what might happen. <laughs> Which doctor becomes invisible as police watch? How lady cops get tough and stay that way. <laughs> Here's one for the show. Common kitchen spices can make you smarter. Hey, John, this one's for you. I heard that. Fish is great brain food. Some people <laughs> should fish for whales. Oh, yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> Air stewardess has five husbands in five countries. No, oh, this is a good one. Cops new gadget. Test your sobriety before you know it. And here's another one of my favorites. Father murders three kids to sell their kidneys. Say, come on, do people actually believe all this stuff? I do. Well, I kind of figured <laughs> that. I said people. I didn't include you in that. And so... <laughs> yeah, who bought the paper, guys? <laughs> hey, I bought it for the show. Yeah, I bet you did. <laughs> well, actually, I got a lifetime subscription. <laughs> and here we have our carrots that we already scrubbed the skins of. And what we're going to do is take and throw them into the food processor here and process them for a little while. See, I did remember the food processor this time. And we just... finely chop them. That looks good. And what we'll do is take and put them into a, a colander, that's what they call these things. Some, I sorry, sometimes I can't remember. Sometimes I can't forget, but it's like a old friend. Timber used, used to say, it's good to drink and forget. Although I don't really condone drinking to excess, especially since I can't drink to excess anymore. You know, why should you if I can't? And, <laughs> Cooks against drunk driving. <laughs> yeah. Cads, that's right. <laughs> Cooking with cads. Or cad. Yeah. John, you're a cad. <laughs> Thanks. No, that's right, you don't cook. Oh, sorry. He's a director, it up, though. director against drunk driving. A dad. Yeah, he's a dad. <laughs> Directors against drunk driving. And what we hit, what we did now was we just... See that, Joe? Yeah, Joe caught that. We're going to just blanch them for a couple of minutes. Let's set our timer here. 
There we go. Blanch them for a couple of minutes. And what we can do is start processing some of our chicken. And these pieces are somewhat frozen, much to Bob's chagrin. But you didn't know I knew that word, did you? But the reason you want to leave it somewhat frozen so it's a little bit firmer so that it uh, doesn't really turn into a complete puree. And so what we got to do is take a couple of eggs and separate the whites out of them. We want just the egg whites, no yolks. No shells too, please. Get caught my teeth. Picky, picky, picky. <laughs> Don't you know there's a lot of protein in the shell? And, come on, uh oh, oh, oh. See, what, what can we do with the leftovers? The shell's crab shell. Yeah, what to do with used egg yolks. That's right. <laughs> I have to suggest that to her. <laughs> and, one more here. Yes, Jira yes, Jiras. Oh no, the yolk's breaking. It's breaking up, it's breaking up. The six million dollar egg. And, yeah, you know, we really got to do something about the amount of uh, burnt down and uh, abandoned homes in the South End, really, because Bob Turknevich, the uh, manager over here at Omnicom, took a ride through the uh, South End the other day, and within a 10 block area, he found how many houses, Bob? 45. 45 burnt down or abandoned houses. Now, they already said that they talked to the mayor about it, and they're going to start doing, you know, the mayor has some plans as to what he wants to do with it. And I know that uh, Councilman Royick was started a fund to help demolish the homes and that, you know, the abandoned homes. Please only do the abandoned ones. <laughs> no, that happened to a friend of mine. I was over by his house. Well, it didn't happen to a friend. It happened to a guy across the street from him. Well, they went out on a picnic during the day, and they came back, and the house next door to them was supposed to be torn down. But they tore down the wrong house. Wow. And it was it was really weird because this guy comes home and it's like, hey, my house is gone. <laughs> you know, they had bulldozed it and everything, man. You know, there was just a big hole in the ground. You know, what are you gonna do? <laughs> but anyways, we can take our last carrots out. Gotta do something about that fly guys. Okay, shot. We get it. Yeah, take a shot at him, that's right. Oh, it's a, it's a Libyan fly. <laughs> Let's just set our carrots down over there to cool. Put that bowl over there for the moment. We'll cover that back up. We're going to be using that to boil our sausage in later. And what we need now is a little bit of dill, finely chopped and tossed in with our uh, chicken there. Ah, I love the smell of fresh dill. Problem is, the bunches that they sell at the market are so big, it's like I got enough to last me for a month. Even though I don't use this stuff that much. And we add our dill. And, well, a little bit of parsley can't help. Parsley goes good with chicken. And we'll slice up a little bit of our parsley here. See, that's one of the advantages of a sharp knife. You can cut up, you know, your herbs and spices and stuff like this, even when it's fresh, without that much problem. And take and toss our parsley in. And we need some black peppercorns. Take and grind these up. Ho oh, oh. ho! Hey, hey, come on. No, never mind. And take and we throw that in. And it's going to be a first here on Cooking with Cavs. We're going to add salt to a dish. Not the White Death. Yes, Wait. the White Death. In the name of Gaddafi? Yeah, since it's chicken, you know, for Gaddafi, we might as well put salt in there, you know, give him high blood pressure. Or seeing as how things have been going lately, higher blood pressure. And we take and add our salt there. And let's throw our cover on, and we'll process it. Whoa! Whoa! Everybody's gonzo. 
my glass, buddy. Okay, and now we need to add a small amount of whipping cream. Uh, is it good? I hope so. Don't put your lips on it. I won't. <laughs> well, it doesn't look too lumpy. It doesn't look too Clarence. For those of you who watched Leave it to Beaver. And we just kind of process it around there. And take and add a small amount of the secret ingredient just for the taste of it. And you can take and cut up the uh, green parts off of a, a few scallions here. Just cut off the ends. Dispose of properly. And you're now me. Oh, a little bit more than that. You know how I like onions and garlic and stuff. And we're not going to put any garlic in this time. Although I was going to, I decided against it at the last minute. What do you think of that, John? Terrible, terrible. Yeah, I know. It's like the old Polish saying, though. Life is hard and then you die. And we take and we throw that in. And we just pulse that a few times, let that get mixed in. And what we can do now is take and add in our carrots. Oh, these things have got so many safety features on it now. You know, the bowl's got to be exactly in place. This thing's got to be exactly in place. And this thing's got to be down before it'll work. It's hey, like, you want to lose some fingers? Pay attention to those safety precautions. Oh, see the Vienna sausages flying around <laughs> That's there? That's right. Like in Road Warriors. One of my all-time favorite movies. In case you never noticed, you know, the guy with the mohawk and you know, the big tough guy? Look at him from behind. He's not wearing any pants. <laughs> No, really. It's a, he's just got chaps on in the front, and that's it. Yeah, you There's that it. sucker. Where's my shotgun? Where's Otto at? <laughs> I'll get him. And what we want to do now is take and throw in the uh, remainder of our chicken breast. So we're going to just chop it slightly, and we're going to process it just slightly in order to allow it to uh, have some large chunks of chicken in it. Messy chicken. There it is. Looks wonderful, doesn't it? I'll take a double helping. Here. <laughs> No? I'll have, I'll, have it on a, I'll have it on a sugar cone. Yeah, on a sugar cone. Put mine on a stick, corn dog. <laughs> you know where you, you know where, no, I better not. Uh, go ahead. No, I can't. <laughs> and what we can do now is, ah. uh. Just clean this off a little bit, get this stuff into a bowl. And here's my spatula, there we go. There we go. Comes right off, no problem. Right, squeegee? Hey, squeegee. Yeah, hey, you. The funny hair. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you with the bowl cut. Squeegee, huh? Yeah, it's me. And there we have the basis for our chicken sausage. I'll leave that in there. I'll tell you, we got to do something about the air conditioning in this place, man. Isn't that fly flying around enough ventilation? No. <laughs> oh, and I'm not going to make friends with them like Charles Lindbergh did. 
Well, actually, it was Jimmy Stewart playing Charles Lindbergh. But that's neither here nor there. That's another story. That's true, it is. And by this time, you folks out there may be wondering, well, he's got the stuff, what's he going to put it in? Is he going to put it in casings or what? And the answer to that is no. That's telling I me. guess I cleared that up. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> no, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to use handy wrap to kind of wrap it up a little bit. And... I suppose you could use hog casings. You know, I use hog casings when I make pork sausage. And I also found a very good recipe for a, a veal and chicken sausage. I was thinking about trying that. And use the hog casings. But in this particular situation, I guess it's not... Oh, excuse me. It's not considered to be uh, chic. Hey, John, how long have we been uh, doing this time 16 for? 16 minutes. 16 minutes? I'll tell you what, why don't we take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay. Okay. The strawberries are coming, May 3rd and 4th. You're on! Hey, we're back again. And we're about ready to start making our sauce here, a little bit of sauce to go on the chicken. And what I did while we were taking a break was I cooled the chicken down. See, Bob, I was going to mention it. Bob was worried I wasn't going to give the complete recipe. And... Hey, Ken? Yo! Uh, you want to comment about that uh, PSA we had about the strawberry festival? during the break? What do you mean do I want to tell them about it? They saw it. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It was Bob's idea anyway. <laughs> no, why did you want me to tell them about it? I wish you'd tell me before I went on the camera. Yeah, I just wanted to tell <laughs> Play it off, big kid. Play it off. Play it off, eh? <laughs> Anyways, what we do is we take and melt some butter first off here. And while the butter is melting, we can try rolling up a sausage. And here we have a spoon. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now nah, he's, I'll have to get that later. I have a wooden spoon in my jacket pocket over there. I'll have to get that later. And what we do is take and spread some of our mixture inside here. And just kind of roll it up using thumbs and forefingers. <laughs> of course. Of course. Did you think of a better weight? No, no, no. And we take several short pieces of string, donated by Omnicom of Hamtramck, I should add. And we twist the ends. And we stir our butter. Turn it down just a tad. We don't, our, don't want our butter to burn. And we tie off the ends. We don't want them to escape. And see folks, I've never made sausage this way, so it's going to be a surprise for all of us. And we just kind of force it down a little bit, give it that distinctive sausage shape. Did you, tell you, did you tell me you chilled it? Yes, I told him they chilled it. Oh, I didn't know. We took two takes on this, you know. The first take, I didn't say anything. <laughs> I just sliced my finger open. See what you did? Well, you shouldn't have sharpened those damn knives. <laughs> Hey, no swearing on my show, pal. Oh, I'm sorry. Joe, bleep that out, would you? Yeah, Bob's got a picture of his daughter in his wallet. <laughs> That's like I was reading in this article about making sausage that in the uh, 60s, Ralph Nader called the uh, hot dog America's most deadly missile. <laughs> no, really. Because he said that it, it had uh, twice as much fat as it had meat in it. And it just plain wasn't no good for you. Excuse me, folks. You know, Dr. Ruth said the same thing. Never mind. <laughs> oh, there go. You say so. It's not everybody that carries a rock. Man, I'm bleeding like a stuck pig over here. <laughs> and... Now, what was I going to say? Forget it. Important? 
I doubt it. <laughs> and we take and mix some flour in with our butter here. Several teaspoons, tablespoons. Let me make up my mind. And we just stir that around a little bit. And while we're stirring that, we can rip out another piece of handy wrap, roll up another sausage, twist another one of them bad boys up. Another <laughs> sausage. Yeah, another sausage, eh? And take and throw some in. Okay, is you going to show us that rolling technique this time? Of course. I showed it last time. I didn't get it. I know you didn't. You rarely do. Man! <laughs> We can't take another break, let's we'll stick another PSA in. Yeah, I know. <laughs> we'll do what we can. If I get blood in the sausage, hey, no problem. Whoa. Yeah, blood sausage. And if I lick it, we'll make blood tongue. Never mind. <laughs> that's another story. Yeah, that's either here or there. <laughs> and, tell you what, Bob, you got a band-aid in there? Yeah. What? Yeah, let's see if you can give me one. Either that or we gotta call EMS. We gotta come up with a name for our first aid person around here. What's that? We gotta come up with a name for our first aid person around here, along with Anita Dombrowski. Oh, hit the pause. Forgot about the tape. The way that John surprised me like that. <laughs> Did you turn it over? Yeah, we turned it over before. Okay. And we just mix around our butter and flour mixture here. Allow it to brown up nicely. In fact, we could use a little bit more flour in there. Bob, did you come up with that uh, napkin here? I'm bleeding all over the place. Yeah, here. he's right here. Why don't you bring it out here? He is. Bob's not bashful. Respond. First aid. Hi. I can't tell. <laughs> You don't have to spray it. All you got to do is just... Where, where's his nurse's uniform? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Look at the legs on it. Look at those thighs. <laughs> <laughs> easy, boy. Easy. Really, don't get too excited, John. Oh, Look, it hurts. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Now, don't forget oh, to... Oh, we got a shot of it right there, folks. All right. I said right. make it better. Okay. Time. Thank you, Bob. You're a hell of a man. Can we call anytime? Band-Aid. Band-Aid. Didn't they raise money? <laughs> and here we take... Another piece of string. Don't cut any fingers. I'll we'll try not to. I don't know, we might end up going over now, guys. I didn't anticipate getting my finger sliced open. And we take our sausages. Now it's gonna burn the thumb too, on top of everything. And we just drop them into boiling water. And the top off because usually when you're boiling something in plastic it's better to keep the top off because if the heat gets too high you melt the plastic we don't really, Bob was already voicing his opinion on to uh, the fact that we were going to be eating plastic but we're not going to eat it Bob we're going to take the plastic off first but don't worry we got first aid and our sauce seems to be coming along rather nicely with that fry up a little bit more We'll chop up some parsley. Yeah, it was a very good example of how to not handle a knife. You know, I picked the knife up and tried to cut through something using the dull edge while I put the sharp edge against my thumb. <laughs> Just goes to show you, you know, even though, you know, like I was saying on uh, my idle chatter bit this week, about the, uh, the dangers of using a dull knife. You know, it doesn't mean just because you have a sharp knife you don't have to be careful. No, you still have to be careful. Ah! And we mix that around. Things look like they're getting hectic. Ooh, we love it when they're hectic. I work best under pressure. And splashing a little bit of the secret ingredient here. And here we have some chicken broth. They can mix some of this in. They can mix a little bit more in. Are you making a sauce for those? 
No, I'm only kidding it. Oh, okay. And we take it and mix it around here. And add a little bit more of the secret ingredient here. I'll tell you, these little Black & Decker hand mixers are really handy. And to make it a little bit creamy sauce, we'll add a little bit of our whipping cream here. And we'll mix that around. And we just mix that around some. Boy, it's one of the first sauces I've ever made on the show that's actually going to turn out by the looks of it. I better not say anything because now it's going to mess up. Give this stuff a try here. Wow, this is pretty good. And let's turn our heat way down low on that. Because really, once you add the cream, I don't want to let it boil too much. Because as you can see, it's a, well, we better add a little bit more chicken stock to it. It's a little bit too thick. I'll let it simmer for too long here. And, see, how's our chicken doing here? Uh, I think we better cover it up, let it heat up a little bit quicker here. Hopefully the plastic won't melt, but if it does, hey. You know, it's a little worse minutes. than we usually get. Five minutes. Five minutes. And coming. See, whoa. And what we need to do now is take and crush up a couple more peppercorns. Put it into the uh, sauce here. Oh, we're shaking everything again. I'll tell you, man, it's getting warm in here. Yeah, I could tell why. <laughs> <laughs> Are my cheeks that rosy already? Cheeks? Why go down your chest? No, I won't. Well, I'm coming up with some real good stuff today that I can't mention on the air. That's like I'm moonlighting the other day. Well, it wasn't the other day, it was a couple weeks ago. They were having a torrid love scene. And the guy was saying, hey, we got to slow this down anymore. We're going to have to go on cable. I said, hey, we can't do that stuff on cable either. <laughs> and Mr. Basil is here for a visit again. They can put a little bit of basil in there. Parsley and basil go, good. go together very well with chicken. Three pinches. Although usually when I <clears throat> give something three pinches, I get slapped, but... Whoa. Let's see. That's turning out real good. I'm really surprised. John, watch the sauce boiling for a second. Okay, sir. <laughs> it's pretty interesting. Look, I think it's boiling right now. You see it? Before our very eyes. Oh. Look at that. No, it's not boiling. It's just oh, sitting there. Sorry. No, see, John has this thing. He doesn't want me to. Well, yeah, he has this thing also, but he doesn't <laughs> want. He Never doesn't... mind. Come on. We got three and a half minutes left. Let's go. Well, I don't know if the sausage is done yet. You want to show that uh, strawberry festival pizza thing? <laughs> yeah. I'll check this out. Someone may have walked out at that time. Yeah, right? somebody might have missed today. <laughs> oh no, the sausage is unraveling. What do you think, Joe? Did they look done? <laughs> plastic looks good. <laughs> the plastic looks done. <laughs> Let's give it a couple more minutes. We can do something else out here yet. Okay, what else can we do? For one minute. Family Ties for a while. It's on the other channel right now. What? No, no, no switching <laughs> channels. No, Family Ties isn't on now. On Thursday. Cosby is still. No, Cosby's on at 8. I thought, then that means I'm on at 8. You're on at 8.30. You're up against Family Ties. You told me before that I was up against Cosby. Get it with the knife. Get it with the knife. Excuse me, folks. <laughs> 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 he won't do that oh, again. Oh, you got a band-aid? <laughs> a big one? <laughs> Turn it, kid. Don't worry, Joe. We'll take you to... Nah. I can't do that. They got a show here, too. <laughs> well, let's, let's just see if the sausage is firm. 
Why don't you pinch it three times? I don't want to get slapped. <laughs> Well, shall we give it a go? I think the folks get the idea. Does she go? A? A? Ow! That's hot. I'm not doing my James Brown imitation. That was hot. <laughs> now, let's see. Where's the egg? I'm usually better at rolling than unrolling. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Does it move? It right. lives! It lives! <laughs> and, I'll tell you what, why don't we just go with the one? Because this one's a little bit fatter. I'm not sure if it's going to be done or not. We'll eat this one after the show. And so, <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> Take and pour some of our sauce on the sausage. And, if anyone who uh, likes to live dangerously would care to come up here and give this stuff a try, it's time to call me here, Joe. I, I gotta push him out of the office. Who, Bob? Come on, Bob. Get him out Get there. your buns out here. We don't have a whole lot of time, so. He's got hot dog buns with him. <laughs> uh, Is it done? Is it done? Yeah, it's done. You there done you go, did it. Remember, I gave you the Band-Aid, okay, so... Be good. Joe, you didn't even try it yet. No, no, no. Oh, wow. These are not your basic chicken dogs you buy at Great uh, uh, Scott, that's for sure. That's good. definite. It's got a lot of spice and flavor to it. 30 seconds. Let's uh, put the other one. <laughs> yeah, let's put the other one out here. No, we only got 30 seconds. <laughs> so, I guess that brings another episode of uh, Cooking with Cass to an end. I want to thank you all for joining me. Uh-oh, John, that's the last of it. Don't say things like that. <laughs> and join me uh, any, well, watch me all three times this week on uh, Idle Chatter. <laughs> hey, Why you not? can never get enough, you know? Right. Show you how not to cut your finger, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, if they watch that, then they'll see how not to cut your finger. If you watch this, then you saw how to cut your finger. So, like I said, that brings another episode of Cooking with Cavs to an End, or Cooking with Gaddafi, whichever you care to call it. My man, Molmar. Now, I'm not condoning terrorism, that's for sure. Something's definitely got to be done. Ronnie, thanks a lot for doing it. Hey, Five some people. Hey, some people disagree, but I agree. And so, have a good day, and may your God go with you. <laughs>